Unilever closes the Wyss factory. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, I'm Florian Heiser and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. I've got my stein of coffee and I thought we'd have a look at this article about Unilever, a multi-billion dollar multinational corporation, closing down the Wyss factory just two years after they purchased a family business. And Wyss has been in Toowoomba since 1957. Now before we go through this article, I'll just show you where their factory currently is. Wyss Frozen Foods, and we'll zoom out here. And this is the city of Toowoomba. It is an inland city, and you know it's a service and a regional hub for all the towns and farms surrounding it. If we zoom a bit further out, we can see Brisbane over here. At one stage it was competing with Brisbane to be the potential capital of Queensland. But the loss of a factory like this will be a blow to the town. Definitely will be. Let me know in the comments if you know anyone who has just discovered this news. If it was a surprise or if it just came out. Oh, we're not talking about the cash ban today. We're talking about the Wyss factory. So, Unilever, Unilever purchased the iconic Aussie brand Wyss from the Wyss family in 2017 with the firm's intention to keep manufacturing in Toowoomba. Less than three years later, the $240 billion multinational food giant says it will axe more than 90 jobs from the regional Queensland community when it closes the factory in December the following year. So at least they will have a gradual transition and they will have a year's worth of time to deal with it. And there are other factories in Toowoomba, but I mean, this is a big, gonna be a big dent in the local economy. Production on the popular Wyss range, best known for the original Wyss Spa created by Les Wyss in 1957 and sold from his corner store in Toowoomba, will move to Unilever's Minto factory in New South Wales. At least the jobs are staying in Australia for now. How long will it be till the factory or the production is sent entirely overseas? In the shock announcement on Thursday, Unilever said the difficult decision came after an extensive review of our Australian and New Zealand ice cream business. And this comes just after it was recently announced that one of the largest or the largest milk manufacturers in the United States filed for bankruptcy. Can we blame this on the vegans, guys? Maybe we can. I didn't eat their products too often, but when I did, I enjoyed it. I think my mother really was a fan of them. We did not anticipate this decision when we acquired Weiss from the Weiss family in 2017. Unilever Australia and New Zealand Chief Executive Clive Stiff, who informed staff at the factory this morning, said in a statement, it was our firm intention to keep manufacturing at Toowoomba, which is why we have made major investments in the site over the past two and a half years. Well, I mean, firm intentions are meaningless if now, yeah, they've changed their mind. We have also made significant investments in building the brand through marketing, research and development and increased distribution in Australia and international markets. However, the ice cream market in terms of cost, competition and distribution channels has changed very quickly and pressure on our business has significantly increased. After an extensive review, it's become clear that consolidating our Australian ice cream manufacturing operations at Minto is necessary to achieve the benefits of scale and ensure continued strong onshore manufacturing. So just, you know, see what he's saying there. What is the risk? What is the risk then of manufacturing heading offshore? That is a concern. I mean, we looked at earlier today, just unemployment rate has gone up. Wages, the other, we looked at it yesterday, wages have increased. The increase has gone down and the majority of that has been in the public sector. So, I mean, here we go. Here's the factory, you have a look at. This is not a decision we have taken lightly and we recognize that this announcement will affect everyone on site at Toowoomba as well as the local community. We have spoken to the Weiss family and we appreciate their deep disappointment 
And we understand this is not something they would have foreseen when they sold the business to Unilever. I mean, just think about the family there. It's been a family business from 1957 in the community. How would they feel? How would they feel? They'd feel gutted. 93 jobs gone. Guys, 93 jobs gone. We are committed to providing consumers with the same exceptional waste product, but the same high quality natural ingredients. Queensland will also remain a very important part of the Weiss brand, and we will continue to support businesses and farmers throughout the state by retaining local food sourcing. Well, that's what he's saying here, but two years previously, he claimed that they were going to, you know, maintain manufacturing in Toowoomba. So what do his words mean? They mean nothing. In all honesty, they mean nothing. It's sad in a way. The closure will impact 93 full-time, part-time and casual roles. But Unilever says opportunities will be available should employees wish to transfer to other parts of the Unilever business, including our operations in Sydney. At least that's a benefit. For those whose role is made redundant, we will offer significantly more favorable redundancy provisions than the existing enterprise agreement, which was in place before Unilever's ownership, Unilever's statement said. But what would you rather have, a redundancy agreement or your job? I mean, just think about that. Because here's the issue, unemployment, I don't know what the age of the workers is there, but if they're, if, you know, if they're over 50, it's gonna be hard finding work. Unemployment is much higher when you pass that age threshold, guys, much higher. So they've been a Toowoomba icon since 1957. Just think about that, how long that's been. How long that has been part of the community there. We've also established a dedicated support program to assist employees in preparing for future employment opportunities. As part of that program, we will be working with employees to provide reskilling and upskilling training, interview training and well-being support. Unilever says it will work with local employers, employment agencies and government organizations to identify career pathways and support for team members. We acknowledge the role the Weiss factory has played in the Toowoomba community and are planning to set aside 25% of the proceeds of the future sale of the site for the benefit of the community to ensure the contribution of the factory and its people is remembered and celebrated, Mr. Stiff said. I mean, you know, that's nice. It's damage control for the corporation. It's damage control and brand protection. That's what it is. That's why they're doing it. Because how, how bad does it sound? A multinational comes and buys a family business in a regional town, two years later shuts down the factory. How bad does that sound? All options for this are on the table and we will be consulting with our employees and local community leaders to ensure the funds are spent in a way that best serves the needs of Toowoomba. We're particularly interested in community or institutional groups that support long-term skills development and employment opportunities in the area. Yes, but your business was an employment opportunity in the area. It was an employer of a large number of adults and people. I mean, replacing that with a skills program or a not-for-profit that comes in and teaches people how to code is not gonna be the same. It's not the same. We wanna thank our staff and everyone else who has contributed so much to WIS and its achievements over the more than 52 years. Our focus is now on ensuring we fully support our people through a range of measures during this transition. Toowoomba Regional Council Mayor Paul Antonio told The Chronicle, the news came as a shock. That is devastating news, he said. Mr. Antonio said Unilever's comments in 2017 had led him to be very confident that the Weiss factory would continue operating well into the future. I just think that's so sad, he said. Well, they were just spinning your lines, mate. They were telling you exactly what you wanted to hear. But it's cheaper for them to shut down, pay above redundancies, sell the land, give a quarter of that sale to the town and leave than to run it in this location. Just think about that, guys, think about that. The loss of 93 jobs in a place like Toowoomba is significant. Our thoughts are with those who've lost their jobs, given this is an iconic organization that was really putting Toowoomba on the map. I'm a bit shocked by it. Well, guys, what do you think? What do you think? What is this telling us? You know, that they have to consolidate this manufacturing to one location 
we'll have a look at Minto Minto New South Wales. Let's just jump there and have a look where it is. I'm not familiar with that town. So here it is. Where are we looking at? So there you go. West, southwest of Sydney. Here. Probably closer to distribution, but I wouldn't imagine that much. There you go. That's where it's going. Do you want to move to New South Wales, guys? I think I'd rather live in Toowoomba, <laughs> to be honest. So guys, let me know what you think. Are you surprised? Is this just a sign of what's happening? Will we see more of this, more manufacturing getting closed down? Do you think it will stay in Australia or they will eventually offshore all of the manufacturing? Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, share and subscribe. If you like this channel and want to help me produce more content, I have a Patreon and subscribe star where you can make a small donation. I also have a Amazon and eBay referral link where I receive a small commission if you make a purchase using those platforms. It costs you nothing extra. And I have a PayPal and Ethereum wallet if you want to make a donation using those means. Take care guys, have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.